fun sage topaz here. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and staying safe. So I am super excited because we are in October, which means we are three more months until the end of 2020. Three more months until the end of 2020. Woohoo! Yes, we are almost done with 2020. Thank goodness. 2020 has been a crappy year which is the understatement of the year, <laughs> but thank goodness we are almost there, and November is Thanksgiving, which is exciting, and December is Christmas, which is personally my favorite holiday, so start counting down, we are almost there, it's been tough, but hang in there, we are almost done with 2020, and hopefully 2021 will be a much better year, so just wanted to announce that, but let's get straight to the video, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to overcome your fear of public speaking. Now, what exactly is the fear of public speaking? Well, according to Wikipedia, glossophobia or speech anxiety is the fear of public speaking. The word glossophobia derives from the Greek glossa, meaning tongue, and phobos, fear or dread. Some people have the specific phobia, while others may also have broader social phobia or social anxiety disorder. So yeah, thank you, Wikipedia. So yes, that is the definition of the fear of public speaking. Now, I'm sure you who's watching this video might be scared of public speaking or you know someone or you might know people who are just terrified of speaking in public. It's normal. It's very common. In fact, according to the National Social Anxiety Center, 73% of people are terrified of speaking in public. 73%. That is a lot. <laughs> in fact, according to the National Social Anxiety Center, some people are more scared of the fear of public speaking than the fear of death which is crazy <laughs> to me. But yeah, it's very common. In fact, you might know someone who might be super outgoing and confident and has a lot of friends, but when they have to speak in public, they just freeze. So yeah, it is very common for people to be scared of speaking in public. Now, I like to talk a lot, as you can tell, <laughs> but sometimes I get scared when I have to do a presentation. I mean, it's normal. Sometimes you get nervous when you have to do a presentation. And some people are just they are just absolutely mortified when they have to do a presentation. But it's just something you have to do. I mean, even when you're in kindergarten, you have to do like a play. Sometimes you have to do a play in front of people. When you're in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, you have to do class presentations. And you might think when you graduate, oh, I don't have to do presentations anymore. That's not true. Because even when you go to work in an office, you have to do presentations. Sometimes you have to do presentations in front of your coworkers. And sometimes you have to do presentations in front of your manager. So you have to do deal with public speaking at some point in your life. It's almost like a rite of passage. So in this video, I'm going to talk about tips to help you be less nervous when you have to do your next presentation. So in that next Zoom call you have to do, and then eventually when things get back to normal and we're back in the office or back in school, hopefully these tips will help you on your next presentation. So the first tip is to know your content. You have to do your research. You have to know what you're talking about. When you have done your research, when you know what your presentation is about, it will actually make you feel more confident. It doesn't matter how scared you are. When you know what you're talking about, you will actually feel confident before your presentation. If you don't know what you're talking about, if you haven't done your research, you're going to feel nervous and it's going to show. You're going to stumble. You're going to stutter. So you have to make sure you have your research done. For instance, when I was in high school, I did a presentation on the history of video games. I'm not joking. That was actually my presentation. <laughs> and I love doing that presentation because I'm a huge video gamer. I love video games. So I was doing the topic that I was so passionate about. But I had to do my research. I had to know the year the first video game was made, early consoles like Atari, how video games have evolved over the years. So... It's not just me being a fan of video games. I have to have my research to present to the class. So you have to know your stuff. You can't just wing a presentation, especially if it's a presentation that's uh, for your grade or uh, an office presentation that's really important. You have to know your content, and that way you'll feel you have a little bit of confidence before going up for your presentation. But like I said, if you're nervous, the audience is going to know, and you're going to stutter and make mistakes and you're not going to be able to relay the information toward your audience. So prepare, know your content. Number two, yes, prepare. <laughs> prepare your presentation. You have to practice. So for instance, what you can do if you have a presentation, you can get your webcam and you can actually record yourself doing your presentation. And then you can play it back 
Give yourself some feedback. See what you need to improve. Maybe you're talking too fast or maybe you need to enunciate some words better. So you, sh you can do that. What you can do as well is you can ask your family members, you can ask your friends, hey, I'm about to do this presentation. Can you like give me some feedback? And you can actually like do your presentation in front of your family or your friends and they can give you feedback as well and tell you what you need to improve. The third tip is get yourself out there. Actually put yourself in situations where you have to do public speaking. So for instance, maybe there's a cafe or a bar near you where you live. You can actually go for like open mic night or you can go for karaoke because in karaoke you sing in front of people. So when you do um, open mic night or karaoke, things like spoken word or, you know, speaking, poetry, that way you're in front of an audience and it's actually giving you more practice in speaking in front of an audience. And that can actually help overcome your fear of public speaking. So if you can just go with maybe like a few friends, you know, go for karaoke night, go for open mic night, that can help you feel more comfortable speaking in front of a crowd. Number four. Okay, so a lot of times, a lot of reasons why people are scared of speaking in public is because they're afraid of making mistakes. But I'm here to tell you that even if you make a mistake, it's okay. So don't kick yourself if you make a mistake during a presentation. If you stutter, if you stumble, it's fine. It's totally okay. We are all human beings. We all make mistakes. If you make a mistake or if you get a brain fart or you forget your thought process, just take a deep breath collect your thoughts, and continue. In fact, if you make a mistake, you, know, you can actually say, Whew, can you guys give me a moment? And people will be understanding about that. So don't um, kick yourself, you know, don't make yourself super nervous thinking that you're going to make a mistake. Even if you do, it is totally okay. Um, number five, have fun. Have fun when you're doing your presentation. So when you're doing a presentation, you have to be engaging. That way the audience will be interested in what you're talking about. Even if you're doing a super boring topic like macroeconomics, you can actually make it fun. I have done some presentations that are super boring, but I've managed to make it fun. You have to show enthusiasm. Even if you're naturally not an enthusiastic person, it's okay. You can still make a presentation engaging to the audience. You can interact with the audience. You can ask the audience questions. You can make a joke, <laughs> even if it's a corny joke. You know, you can make jokes in your presentation, but it's important to have fun. And like I said, don't think about if you're going to make a mistake. Don't think if you're going to mess up. Just have fun. Use hand gestures like I'm using hand gestures right now. Just be engaging. When you're engaging, the audience is going to be engaging as well. So, yeah, I think that would be it. I'm trying to think what other advice would I give. Oh, this is another advice, too. Eye contact. Now, people say when you're giving a presentation, it's important to make eye contact. And I agree with that to some extent. It's definitely, there definitely is an advantage and disadvantage to making eye contact. Now, making eye contact, like I said, is engaging the audience. But sometimes people make eye contact and it completely throws them off. Like some people can be doing a great presentation and they look at someone and it just completely throws them off. Well, a solution to that is you don't have to look directly at people. What you can actually do is you can actually kind of like stare at the wall while you're doing a presentation. And I don't mean like just stare at the wall, like the whole presentation, like kind of like just roam around the room without looking at people's faces, like what I'm doing right now. See, I'm talking, I'm giving a presentation, but I'm actually looking at the wall right now and kind of like scanning the room. So that way people will see that you, there, you know, you're looking around the room, but you don't have to look at people directly because sometimes that kind of just throws people off. So that would also be a tip as well. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So yes, hopefully these tips will be able to help you in your next presentation. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And like I said, just have fun, you know, pump yourself up before your presentation. You can, you know, be like, yes, I can do this. You know, be like Rocky, like, yes, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you'll be fine. Like I said, it's totally normal for people to be scared of public speaking. But like I said, don't think too much about it. Don't overthink it. Just try your best. And hopefully these tips will be able to help you. So, yeah. Okay. I think that's about it. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching my video. And again, stay safe and have a good day. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Mwah.